Okay, so in a previous video, um, I used the expression editor inside the query builder to uh, calculate and create new uh, new variables. Uh, this is the data set that was created uh, using the expression editor. Uh, the three new variables we made were bonus, salary, and age when hired. Uh, the bonus variable was uh, created by taking the uh, let's see the salary variable and multiplying it by 0.08 a percent, uh, and then. The uh, new salary variable was created by adding our newly created bonus variable to the pre-existing salary uh, variable, and then age when hired uh, was used uh, or was made used uh, uh, using a function in the expression editor called date difference, which gave me the difference in days of birth date and employee hire date, and then we divided by that by 365 to give us, and that gave us the year. So this is the data set that we created. Uh, using the expression editor and the query builder. So here we're going to go back into the query builder, but we're not going to use the expression editor. We're going to use uh, the recode column options, and this will just give us a chance to, uh, a chance to kind of restructure the way our columns are are outputted. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at the let's see. Okay, so we're going to look at our salary new salary variable that we created. And basically, I want to recode rec rec uh, rec this uh, in the way that uh, it's ma it makes it a little kind of easier to to sift through the data rather than having to go through all these individual uh, salary ranges. We can recode it to where we get kind of a generalization uh, of all this. So for this, uh, anything less than twenty thousand dollars a year that they make, I will recode this and replace that value with the word intern. Uh, between twenty thousand and forty thousand will be frontline employee. Between forty thousand and one dollar and seventy-five thousand, you they will be a manager. Uh, between seventy-five thousand and one dollar and one hundred and fifty thousand dollar, they will be a director. And anything greater than one hundred fifty thousand dollars will be an executive officer. So that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna recode. Uh, we'll go to the query builder uh, once again. It's at the top, or you can go to the drop-down menu in the tasks. Go to data and query builder. Uh, so we're going to use all of our variables. We can go ahead and just click the whole table, move it over to the right, and then we'll go to computer columns, click new, and instead of advanced expression editor, we are going to use the recoded column. So bear with me as this may take a little some time to to do this. Um, we're going to be using our new salary. A variable so we click next okay so this is where we'll go ahead and play with our our uh, column values um, what we're gonna do is click add and then for this we'll go to uh, replace uh, condition okay so we have anything less than twenty thousand dollars okay and then this is the current value, and we want to replace it with intern. So we come down here, and this is where we type in our values that we want to replace. Now, since we're not typing in a numeric uh, value, uh, we have to make sure that this is checked. The enclose this value in quotes. This will let it know that we're working with uh, character values. So click OK. Click Add. And so now we want to do between 20,000 and 40,000. These are our frontline employees. So go back to replace condition, and we go to between, since we're working in a range, and we have 20,000 and 40,000. Okay, and we will replace this with frontline employee, making sure that the uh, enclosed, this value enclosed box is checked. Click OK. So now we'll be in the range of forty thousand and one dollar and seventy-five thousand dollars, and these are our managers. So go back to replace condition. In between. So we have forty thousand and one dollar and seventy-five thousand, and these are our managers. Click OK. Replace condition again, and now we are working between $75,001 and $150,000. So between, starting value is 75,001, 
and between 150,000. And these are our directors. And of course, our executive officers will be making anything more than, greater than 150,000. These are our executive officers. Okay, so it looks about right, less than $20,000 in turn, greater than $150,000, executive officer, and the rest of the range is right here. So let's click next, and we'll name this uh, employee classification. I'll just call it employee class. And we get rid of this dollar format. Click next and finish. Uh oh, so we have an error. So this is where this is when it tells us that something's wrong. So we click yes to show us the log. Okay, result of when clause six is not the same data type as the preceding result. Okay, so here's what happened. So we'll go back to our computer columns and if always pay attention because these things will kind of drive you crazy, but they're super simple fixes, so it's nothing to really freak out about but we can just double click to come back to our our uh, coded column and here's where the mistake is at so the column type right here is I'm telling I'm telling SAS that I want my output to be numeric but because we put in numeric values and we're telling we want numeric values on the output but we don't want that we want actual character uh, values because we're going from numeric to actual these strings these words uh, in our output so we just have to change that from numeric to character and finish, close, click run, go all the way to the end, and there it is. Looks so much cleaner. So, uh, anything greater than $150,000, look at that first uh, observation, 100, at $176,000, those are executive officers, make sure it matches up, yep, looks good. Uh, between $75,001 and $150,000, oh, those are our directors, so we look at this observation, and looks like they all pretty much check out all these smaller values ranges are for the frontline employees and looks like everything everything checks out so while we're at it let's go ahead and recode our uh, our gender employee gender so we'll change F to female male to male and we will also change our marital status from S to single uh, M to married and O to other and let's see and we'll also recode the age when hired um, given certain ranges less than eight less than or equal to 18 uh, at the of uh, the uh, uh, years old will be a one if the age is between 19 to 25 there'll be a two 26 to 30 will be a three and 30 and up will be a four so let's get started so we can go back to our Query, build, query Builder, uh, we'll click Modify Task, Computed Columns, win a new column. Once again, we're doing the recoded column. So we'll start with the employee gender. So we just select the variable, click Next, and we, we want to replace uh, F with female, uh, M with male. Uh, so for this, since they're just single values we're replacing, we just go under, under the uh, Replace Values, which is the default uh, tab that pops up, and we click Add. So this is our existing value that we have F and we want to place it down here with this value female and we click OK and then click add same thing click add right here and then we want to replace our existing M with male and make sure the column type is correct it's a character click next um, let's see I guess we'll call this gender underscore So we'll click next, click finish, see how this looks. Come all the way to the right. And gender looks exactly the same as our uh, previous uh, gender variable, and here's why. Go to modify task, 
computed columns. Uh, click on our gender. Next. And if we look at our format, the length of it, it's a character format with only a length of one. So let's change that to eight, and that should give us enough space. I'll just click finish, close, run it. There we go. Looks much better. M, male, female, F, female. So let's go back into our query builder, modify task again, go back to computer columns, and now we want to restructure or recode rather the um, the marital status status uh, variable. So we click new, recode a column, and we'll do marital status next. So we do the same thing. We're working with single values. So click add. S is our current value. We want to place it with the word single. Click OK. And M, we want to replace with married. Add, add again. O will be replaced with other. All right. Click OK. Make sure it's a character value. And look at our format again. And we'll change it to 10. And this will be marital. I'll just take away the underscore. Next, finish, close, run it. All right, great. So S single, O other, and married. Looks good. So one more thing we'll do is we'll play with our age when hired variable. So go back to a query builder, computed columns, go to new, recoded column. We want the age when hired variable and click add. And we'll go back to replace conditions. So anything less than or equal to 18 years of age will now be replaced with the number one. Click OK and replace condition. And so anything between the ages of 19 and 25 will get a two. So since we're working in a range, we go between and 19 and 25 replace with a two. Replace condition. 26 to 30 will be a 3. And everything greater than 30 will get a 4. So greater than 30. And column type is correct. Nope. Yep. Oh, yes, it's correct. Uh, click next. And we'll just call this uh, age classification. Age class to make it easier. OK. Click next. Finish. Close. And run it. All right. Oh, well, there we go. So. Uh, anything between 19 and 25 years of age is 2, 26 to 30 is a 3, so our first observation up here, 26, we have a 3, perfect, uh, 19 to 25 is a 2, so we have 19, 2, alright, looks good. So this is just uh, some quick examples, uh, it can take, a, can take some time, but it's uh, a lot quicker than, than uh, other methods of trying to recode the columns but yeah this can be this can be a real time saver and help a ton with uh, with analysis um, but yeah so just to recap the first uh, video we use the advanced expression editor to create compute columns and in this video we created columns using the recoded column option and uh, just show that we can save a lot of time and make things easier to read